Today, I'll be spending thousands of Robux in Mining Simulator 2, so you don't have to. Later in today's video, I discovered the best strategy to level up fast and also took a spaceship to a brand new area. Stick around for that. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Mining Simulator 2. The game is super simple. You grab a pickaxe and you mine straight down. I obviously have been playing Minecraft for years, so I am extremely good at this game. Now, we already uploaded one episode on this game where we were able to get some of the best gear in the entire game, but there has been a huge update with a brand new area and also lots of mini games and even new pets to unlock. So that's going to be our objective today. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I rebirthed. So real quick, I want to show you guys all of the different areas that you can unlock. At the top of the screen, you guys will notice that there's a bunch of different question marks. Those are the different areas that you have to mine down to in order to access new things like brand new eggs and also be able to get more money so that you can get better things such as like pickaxes and other explosives that you can use kind of like this omega nuke so i'm just gonna throw that down just to show you guys it's gonna it's gonna explode like you guys should go explode the like button if you haven't already because that helps me a lot it's super free it's easy and you can always change your mind later but yeah anyway so we're gonna mine straight down um we also as you guys can see on the right side of the screen we have a brand new battle pass that is with this game uh i played fortnite for such a long time that I, anytime a game has a battle pass i like i have to get it um so we're gonna we're gonna get the premium pass just to start it out and see if there's anything good inside of this um so that at the end of today's video you guys will know whether it's worth it to get the premium battle pass or not so we get bonus luck which gives us plus 25 percent luck uh so that whenever we go to get brand new eggs we have a chance of getting uh like a rare one or an epic or even a legendary there's also an extra pet slot which is super awesome uh obviously you guys can see in my inventory right now we have one two three four five six seven different pets equipped but every Every single extra pet that we can get makes a difference because that multiplies how much money we get and also how much faster we can mine. So now that we have, what, like eight pets now, we'll be able to mine faster. And I also saw that there's new pets available. So once we get to that new area that we're going to unlock after we mine all the way down to the bottom of the first world, we'll actually be able to see some of the brand new pets that we can add to our amazing mining team. All right, we discovered the frozen depths. I kind of just like fell right down. It looks like somebody else has been mining. So we could just like jump down their mine. This is actually a really easy way to just kind of like cheat the system. If somebody else has mined, you can just take over their mine and then just fall directly down. The only thing is that you have to get lucky because every once in a while, the mines will reset. So we're just going to keep mining down. On the left side of the screen, you guys will notice that my backpack is going up. Uh, the best thing that you can get, honestly, in this game is an infinite backpack and also a better pickaxe because that'll allow you to get money stupidly fast so that you can do things such as like rebirth faster and also just get down to more areas. All right, we reached the next one, the Gloomy Basin. That one's kind of cool, but uh, yeah, we're almost halfway down the first world. When I recorded the first video on this, if you guys don't remember, we actually beat the game. Like, we were able to mine all the way down to the end of the first world, and that was all that there was available. So that's why a lot of you guys have been commenting that you want me to check out this game again to see everything in the new update, to check out the brand new world and beat that, which we're going to do in today's video. And we're also going to see some of the new mini games. Supposedly, they also added in fishing to Mining Simulator. Later. I don't know why they would do that, but we're going to figure out if it's worth it to actually fish in this game. All right, we are plowing through this. Look at that. On the left side of the screen, we have over 69,000 things in our backpack. We're just mining directly down until we reach that final world. Right now, we just got to the molten core. Also, if you guys haven't seen, these are all my pets that I have. Looks like somebody else is actually down here. Um, and what I could do actually is go over and sell. Yeah, we have $756 million. Million with an M. So much money. And the more you mine down... And the more you get to lower depths, the more money you get. Yo, we made it all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's see what this guy is. Uh, pop. Okay, all right. If I, if I trade, think it's... I actually don't see them. Wait, they're, they're not even on this thing. I can't trade with them. I don't see you in the trade menu. All right, guys. Now that we have 423,000 blocks, let's go sell. Yeah, $3.51 billion with the B. We could also try to open up one of these. Let's just... Uh, we'll do a triple hatch to see what we get. Let's see. Something 
looking good. We got a crystal doggy, a crystal cat, and like something else. It looks like they also added in even rarer pets. So I think last time this was the rarest, but they also added in legendaries. So this one, you have a one in 800 chance. This one, you have a one in 8,000 chance. And this one is one in 16,000. Um, yeah, you, you might have a better chance of like playing the lottery, which um, I don't recommend. You do not go play the lottery, but like that is not good chances. All right, let's see. Can I even get this? Oh, sweet. Okay, we got gems. Awesome. Oh, sweet. Okay, guys, there is a brand new... Oh, wait, there's two brand new legendaries. There's the Patriotic Mimic. Let's grab this. Don't mind if I do. Boom, all right. Yeah, it looks awesome. I guess they're doing a 4th of July sale. And we also have the Royal Heart. That is $24.99 Robux. This is gonna hurt my bank account. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I just spent like 20 bucks on that. Awesome. What else is available? Let's see. We have more storage, uh, teleporters, lucky passes, two times gems. That's actually really, really good. So we're going to get that because we can use gems to buy some better upgrades. Um, fast hatch is good too. Oh, we got, oh, interesting. Super rich. Um, we might get these later on. Okay. Okay. We're going to leave that for now. Let's go over to the brand new area. So this is where I unlocked last time. I don't remember a lot of stuff. There was the gem enchant factory that is super expensive. 35. 5,000 gems to increase how many eggs you can hatch. That is not worth it to me. Cheap rebirths is kind of good. Uh, never lose your checkpoints when rebirthing again. That is big. We're going to get that. Can I, can I buy gems? Oh crap, we can. 6,000 gems. I gotta do it. We we gotta do it. I'm doing it so you guys don't have to. Seriously, do not do this. It is it's probably not worth it, I'm telling you. But I'm gonna do it just to see if it's worth it. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna get permanent layers. I'm also dumb. I This is not a good idea. We're gonna increase our walk speed, I guess, because why not? Uh, Cheap rebirths. Yes. Um, what else can we do? More pets. I want more pets. Oh my God. Wait, we can add in another pet for 12,000. How much is that? That's a lot. That is a lot of Robux for even more pets. All right. All right. All right. We're making lots of money right now. Holy smokes. This is crazy. Okay. So uh, if we look around, right, we should be able to see some of the different like gems. Okay. We're not going to be able to just mine straight down anymore. We actually have to look. We're like trying to find a needle in a haystack. If I go into my inventory, we can actually see the ores. So we have lots of stone, fire shards, chromite. We can't sell though. We, we, we need to make sure not to accidentally sell them. Is there a way to like lock them? Okay. We might, might be able to lock them so that we don't accidentally sell them. Okay. Well, I'm just going to mine a bunch of these and then we should, once I get every single thing that we need, like all the mithril and the other random ores, we'll be able to fly to world number two, which is in space. Guys, the best strategy to find all of the ores is to kind of just mine in like a four by four cube. And then eventually you get to see, you know, some of the ores here and there. I've also been kind of throwing my Omega nuke behind me just to see if it uncovers anything because I'm pretty sure it automatically will mine some of the ores. But that seems to be the best strategy right now, at least to get every single ore in the game. Right now, let's see where, where we're sitting at. Uh, we still need a lot more. So we have four chromite. Uh, we don't even need the Uno B Botanium. Um, we have 20 fire shards and 34 mithril. So we need lots more fire shards, lots more mithril, more chromite, and then another one called Larminar. Wow. Okay. So I also just found out that there could be openings inside the cavern. So there's just ores everywhere. So this is where we can find all of the mithril that we need. We can find the fire shards. There's also just like random chests around that I'm pretty sure give us tons of money. So there we go. We got some more fire shards over there, but I still have not found the random ore called Larminar. Uh, so we're gonna have to figure out exactly like where to find that and if there's like a, maybe a shady guy I have to go to and buy it from there's also crates that I just figured out uh, So you could get different textures. I don't know what you can actually put this on. I'm guessing your pickaxes Maybe uh, so let's see. We just got a donut skin we can claim it, right? And then, uh, okay, we can, oh, we can put it in our backpack or our tool. So we can actually equip that to our backpack. And now, if you guys can see uh, under Jeff's butt and my wings, that's our brand new golden backpack. And it also says how many things we have. Liminar! Yes, we got it! Oh, baby! Okay, it is officially time. I'm going to get my pets back so they can witness this. So everything that we're mining right now, as you guys can see in the middle of the screen, we are getting about one cyber token. Uh, something that we just mined, actually. I think it gave us like 7,500. Yeah, that stuff. Okay, so the ores here are worth a lot. Anytime you guys see an ore, comment down below so that I can come back and get it. Uh, because we need lots of them. There we go. That one's worth 7,500. And I'm guessing the deeper we get, the more valuable they'll be. So it might not even be worth it to mine them right now. Uh, we should just get as deep as possible. We have found the cyber sewers. 
All right, we're gonna sell a bunch of our stuff. It's kind of weird that we can't see our money, but we just got 4.45 billion cyber tokens. My luck right now is not great, but what we can do is actually go into the shop, right? Uh, we can go down, a little bit more down. We can get the double lucky pass for $4.99. Let's do that, just so that we can get better things and better legendaries and some epics. Um, two times gems that we already got. I don't think we need anything other than Omega Lucky for one hour. <laughs> I doubt this is worth it, but I'm going to do it so you guys don't have to. We might get some of the other things, but for the time being, let's see if this actually works. So this should make it so we get epics, uh, legendaries, and also whatever this is. I think this is just rare. It'll just increase our chances of getting some of the better pets. There we go. We got a shiny. Oh, snap. I think shinies are super awesome. Oh, we got a unique one. Okay. We are almost down to the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. The, the space stone got even more difficult to mine. Like, I have the best stuff in the game, I'm pretty sure. And it's still taking, like, over a second to mine some of these. When before, it was like, every single time I clicked, I just broke things. Like, I was in creative mode. Getting there, we're close. I think it's going to be at 1,500 or 1,600 meters down. And right now, we're at 1,450. That means we only have, like, maybe 100 or, like, 200 more to go yes we got it we reached the glitch chasm the last area what's this chest gonna give me so oh we got gems on this one that's actually awesome let's go sell oh, wow we just got 71 million or billion not even million billion space tickets and if we go over here um okay so we can get the glitched egg this is one of the most expensive ones yeah that is a whole lot of money, and this one is holographic. This one looks insane. Let's see what we can get from this. Wow, okay, that looks awesome. Okay, we got some Halo doggies, Halo cats, and we just got this, which is actually our third best pet. It gives us times 520 coins, to, uh, plus 640 mining power, and times 420 to our space tickets. That is incredible, and it's only level one. Those have to be some of our best pets now. Let's equip them. Yeah, dude, the hollow corn and the hollow butterfly and missing 404 are literally some of our best pets now. That is incredible. Okay, now what we can do is go back to the surface. If we go over to the shop, you'll see in the rebirth store, that's where we can get the best tools in the entire game. Right now, mine's pretty good, but I'm pretty sure Riptide is the best in the entire game. Uh, and the only way to really get that is to get tons of gems, and that is really uh, only obtainable by rebirthing, like literally tons of times. So if I rebirth, I don't even know what I lose. Can I re can I re okay, no, I can't can't rebirth again. Uh, but it looks like we keep our space tickets and also these like weird owl tickets. I don't know what they do, um, but we also keep everything unlocked. So I could teleport back to the glitch chasm if I want. And I'm pretty sure we still have access to space travel. But if I want to go back to the overworld or Earth, we could do that. Magic Con Shell, should they leave a like on today's video? Maybe someday. Maybe someday you guys should. Make that day today. And subscribe if you're new. There's brand new Beck Bro Jack merch. We have shirts, hoodies, plushies, posters, and more available only at BeckBroJack.co. Get yours today.